right. This is like take 3,000 in one. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, I thought it was about time I just taught the things that I learned, you know, throughout these past uh, three years of myself learning how to script. I think it's probably four years now. Yeah, I think it is four years. But, you know, some people have been asking me to teach them how to script. I said, uh, hands are full. I don't want to do it. Yada, yada, yada. I just, you know, I just came up with the reasons to not to not do it. And, you know, I thought it was about time that maybe I should just do it just to give back. Um, I don't know, man. I know for a fact I want to. And I'm going to, actually. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys everything I've learned and just do my best. Try to build you guys up to be the ideal scripters you want to be. So, the first thing you got to do, obviously, you're on their homepage. Where do you go to create a game? Go here, create. And, obviously, you're going to have to find a game that you're going to go to just to edit. And if you want to create a new game, just hit create a new game. I'm not going to do that right now because when you create a new game, it stays there forever and you can't get rid of it. And that's that's really annoying. So you can just find your own game. And it usually, if you've never gone to a studio or whatever, no matter what, if you go here to create a game, you're going to see something called your name, place, number, whatever. Like right here, for example, Venice place number two, uh, 228. And then you can just go there to edit the game. In our case... We're going to go here, straight to Lua Tutorial. Wait for that to load up. Okay. We're going to go into full screen. Actually, no, it's not necessary. So, side piece. Just going to split this up a little bit. Just a little 100 x 100 announcement uh, for people that know what that game is. Some people might not. Um, yeah, ov obviously. You guys know the deadlines have not been reached at all. Um, I've been going through, you know, a break. Um, I took at least like a, a week, week and a half off the game just to relax. Because I, I haven't had a break for, you know, like four months. I've just been basically just working on the game without any time within, you know, just like resting phases. Uh... I'm glad I took it, and I don't know, brought new perspectives to myself. And honestly, it's I've of course to myself a lot whether or not to just give up, give up on the game, and just continue on with something else. Uh, because you see, like in a financial aspect, the game was a success. Like. I got more than I thought I was going to get ever. Like, it just broke expectations that I set up for myself. But, obviously, content-wise, no, it did not work. Uh, the game lasted, like, two weeks, and then it died. And I was on a podcast saying that I wanted the game to last a year. <laughs> uh, that was pretty naive, I won't lie. That's the thing, man. Uh... I'm just going to go through with what I'm going to go through. I, If you're fine with waiting, that's okay. You know, you, I don't know, man. It's up to you, right? Like, I'm just going to do what I got to do. It's going to come up when it comes out to the best of my abilities. That's that's what I'll do. This update will take how long, however long it needs to take, whether it's another month. Or whatever. Um, I'm just not. I'm not gonna let this game die right here. Fully, like like fully as in like die. Like I drop the game, or I'm not gonna let the game be discontinued. I'll just say that. Not anytime soon until these last few things are pushed out. Until then, I'm just gonna be gradually working on what I need to do. And that's that's how that's how it's gonna go. Okay, all right. We're gonna get back to actual stuff we came here for. Learning how to script. So this one is pretty 
pretty basic episode is going to be about studio navigation. Uh, you're in studio here. What do you do? Okay. It's a lot of information here that you're going to have to take in. Because if you're new to this, you won't understand like what's going on. <laughs> you really won't. So, obviously up here, we can see most of the important tabs. All the stuff that you're going to need. So here, the option I currently have selected right now is select, which means I can just select items, yada, yada, yada. And then I can go here to move, which means I can actually move things around. So in this, in Roblox, there is three axes. There's the X, Y, and Z. Uh, blue is the Z axis. Red is the X. Y is the up, uh, is the green one. You can just move objects up around like that based on that and you can actually physically drag parts around sorry about that lagging a little bit uh, you can just drag things item like that do whatever you need to do uh, control Z to undo what you just did you can just spam that or you could go up here that's sorry do you can just undo basically everything you've done there that also works in scripts scale you're gonna actually change the size of stuff like that don't need to do that though rotate also the same these are just basic things I'm just gonna go over this video all of these will be explained in further detail on uh, other ones when I have time to do that model this is basically the exact same thing kind of um, we have the three uh, four main things I was talking about on that side uh, you also have transform I don't even know what that's for I think that's for like smooth terrain or something. I actually have no clue what that's for. Here we can insert new objects or new parts that we see in front of us. So before I do that, let me just explain the hierarchy of uh, what a game is. Uh, so under the game, we have the workspace. The workspace uh, includes any 3D objects or any objects that you see in your face. Not like on like like 2D stuff, but like 3D objects such as this part right here. This is under workspace, under the game. All right, anything else that's put in like lighting, for example, cannot see that. But actually, you kind of can. Let's just turn the brightness or the 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 time of day to midday. Now we can actually see sun rays out there because it's obviously it's obviously daytime. Now we can see the sun rays, but just notice how if it's specific objects, you can sometimes actually see them on your screen. Otherwise, you won't be able to. But anyways, um, you can put objects in there and there and there and there and there and there. Still won't be able to see them. Uh, server script service. I'll just go through all these actually. So replicated first is items that um, run immediately the moment you join the game. Kind of brief, but you'll understand. You'll understand soon once I go over it later on. Replicated storage. It's just a bunch of other stuff. Like People usually put 3D effects like parts in there just to store it. And then when they need it, they just bring it into the game. They usually do the same thing with server storage. Uh, server script is place where you actually like add in scripts and stuff like that. Yeah. See here, you can see all the kind of stuff that you're looking for. 3D objects. You're looking at that. Looking at this, this, and that. Okay. Now, the main thing to get out of this is this Lua, Lua Dojo's tutorial or series, whatever, uh, probably going to be 40 lessons up into one just giant thing separated into the basic, intermediate, and advanced curriculum. Uh, I'll leave the, dis uh, the Discord for this in the description. I'll just put it on screen as well. Um, I don't know how often I'm going to make episodes. But I do know the next one is going to be about properties. I think. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me check. Sorry. The 
next one is yeah properties so we're actually gonna get more into the stuff as you see in here but now you know how to actually get to your game and start your journey man <laughs> yeah this one this is a pretty brief episode but it's just just get yourself familiar with like what things do in studio um, what these are properties right here you know just play around see some things are gonna appear reappear a lot of these are important I'll just say this right off the bat the ones that you're gonna need 95% of the time you're gonna need explore open you're gonna need properties open you can just drag it like right underneath kind of like that if you want to some people usually put properties on like the side and they just do it like that whatever works best for you I personally do it this way you can open up uh, output that's gonna be very important command bar that's also gonna be very important that's the main four things you're gonna need for quite a while until you get more more into this stuff and you want to know what these things mean and we have plugins right here. So I'm gonna end the episode off there. The next one is gonna be about instancing and properties. This is gonna be more in depth and obviously more effort is gonna be put in that video. I'll say that for sure. Um, all right, I'll let you guys off with that. Have a good one.